Dragon Ball Super had its rocky start with the retelling of the two movies, really starting after the resurrection of F Saga with the tournament with Universe 6. From that point on, every arc was better than the one before it. So from then, it's been all highs with the animation and the story. But watching the anime, I noticed a mistake that happened which the series is still trying to fix. And this mistake isn't that obvious when you first look, but it gets more and more light with time. And that problem is the power scaling between Vegeta, Goku and Beerus. You might be thinking well, the power scaling has been off since after the Frieza saga in Dragon Ball Z. So what's the big deal? Well, let me explain. With the Battle of Gods arc, we got some power scaling info from the characters. When Vegeta raged at Beerus, his power skyrocketed and he forced Beerus to use 10% of his power. So Super Saiyan 2 Rage Vegeta was able to do that. In the fight between Goku and Beerus, Super Saiyan God was able to hold his ground. It was even said that Beerus used almost 60 to 70 percent of his power. And here, where the problem occurs, those power scalings that were given are wrong, and those aren't the power levels that Akira Toriyama wanted. Even though he once said that if Beerus is a 10, Super Saiyan God Goku is a 6. Those power levels that were given made the community split. On the subject, and it even made the whole power scaling problem much, much worse. Akira Toriyama once said in an interview that those scales aren't true, and he doesn't want Goku to surpass Pierce anytime soon. And that was at the start of Dragon Ball Super. But not all the fans who watch the series will read interviews online. So a lot of people, after Goku achieved Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, immediately thought that he surpassed Pierce. Why? Because of what they saw in the Battle of God's Ark. And now with the new form almost all the community thinks that he's now surpassing him. Even though Goku will use 20 times Kaioken against Jin and it will fail and the new form is stronger than 20 times Kaioken, we can't say that Goku is actually stronger than Beerus since no correct power scaling has been given. So the community just assumes that he will be stronger than him. If he's stronger or if he isn't stronger, that can't be decided now. We have to wait to the actual release of the episode on October 8th to know. If that's happening and he will surpass him, it will damage Beerus's character. Since he's known for his power as the god of destruction, but it has to happen sometime. And now, in my opinion, isn't the time. The anime didn't do much to emphasize on Beerus's power and to fix the mistake. Instead, it took another approach, a more comedic one. After the Battle of Gods, are the only serious time that we saw his true power in was when he killed Zamas and that's it. And now we don't know how strong Beerus is and how strong Goku is compared to Beerus. This mistake made the community if they want to know a power scaling for a character they will look to the best arcs and compare Super Saiyan God Goku to Beerus he's a 6 and Beerus a 10. And that's what hurts the community. When we're given false information in best arcs a lot of people will rely on on those information that were given in the Battle of Gods arc. So that's the mistake. Giving false information to the community. When I enter a discussion with someone regarding the power scaling, this issue always show. They will uh, tell me, well look at the best arcs. When Beerus said that he used 10% of his power against Vegeta or when he used 70% uh, of his power against Goku and Goku was in his Super Saiyan God form, well, he's definitely gonna surpass him. That's the issue. It doesn't make sense. Akira Toriyama said that he doesn't want those power scalings but the community still uses them that's why i think that that's the mistake of dragon ball super given those false information the manga took a different path it really emphasized and showed beerus's true colors and power especially with this new tournament arc when he was fighting vegeta in his super saiyan blue form which is on bar with goku by the way beerus showed his serious side for just a moment and he defeated vegeta in that short time he even said that it will take vegeta one million years to to reach his level and also with the recent manga we saw Beerus fighting all the gods of destruction alone and he was holding his ground and even winning against them this also shows what a beast he is and what power he has that the enemy failed to acknowledge not all people will know that it was a mistake but this mistake can be fixed the enemy can take the path that m the manga took by showing Beerus's true power in fights against gods of destruction fights with Goku and Vegeta so it can be fixed but the enemy isn't taking any measures to fix it. So the power scalings that were given in the past will still be used even though they aren't correct.
people will still use them in discussions and when they use the power scaling. So there will always be people who don't know how strong Beerus was and still is compared to Goku and Vegeta. All because of that mistake. Saying that this is it for the video. Tell me in the comments what mistakes that you found in Dragon Ball Super and how can they fix it. And please leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.